now we are going to have a debate on the topic is internet spoiling the youth uh, good evening respected sir and everyone uh, nice to see you all again um as uh, snesh nigam says that uh, our topic is is internet spoiling the youth then uh, according to me yes it is spoiling the young generation not only young generation but uh, everyone okay uh, they are uh, ex- extensive use of this internet uh, they link with the physically that means i have friends then uh, bad posture and then insomnia means a sleep disorder and uh, obesity obesity is the main highlight that uh, according to me as a doctor and psychologically we think that is a depression relation uh, this uh, uh, relation disturbance is also we uh, find that uh, if we think of they have the fear some social phenomena also that something some like a uh, cyber bullying cyber crime uh, internet addiction and uh, that is uh, so isolation that is also i would further like to continue debate the topic for the debate is internet is spoiling youth so our group will be speaking in favor about this topic i don't agree with you ma'am i don't think internet is spoiling youth because internet is very good opportunity for us where we can search anything whatever we want whenever we uh, facing problem in any situation or any uh, slavers there is doubtnet app where we can search we can get a good information about related our slavers or subjects ma'am thank you but uh, you are saying that we are not saying that internet is spoiling others but we are saying that some some part of internet is spoiling the youth you said that we can search in doubtnet and that yes it is okay but sometimes in uh, as as far i am seen as far as i have seen that in government if i open government site also some another images comes which are not able means uh, which are not seen to the you which are not shown to the youths yeah that's it i don't think sir it is getting increased through the internet so there is mention the internet is spoiling uh, there is a cases of uh, suicide na but it is not mentioned the it is happened because of internet yeah they are not mentioned but this is the reality of the youth because they are spending their valuable time in this uh, internet they are sitting in front of the internet 12 12 10 10 hours okay and because of different because because this is the social media and you put a figures uh, pictures and photos uh, that you connected that is a destroy your life because you have a lot of friends online uh, on the media but in real life you have nothing you have no friend okay that is you i i nowadays i listen from so many youngsters we have 1000 followers and 2000 i do but i want to explain then who is your real friend Okay, fine. Uh, everything is fake on this internet. Okay, fine. Okay, now, okay, Jaisi, Jaisi, the question mm-hmm. asked here, Jaisi, the question asked here uh, is, is that uh, there, there are people uh, now. If you, as you raise the question about the number of deaths, now uh, I know this is not the figure that's been that shows about uh, what exactly is responsible. But uh, Jaisi, would you agree that uh, the number of followers in the Instagram are exactly not the number of people who actually are with you? Yes, that's the answer. Is but sir, uh, it is not. Uh, it depends on person, na. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, we have uh, other friends uh, that uh, helps in uh, our other situation. We can't. Uh, I mean, so we don't say like that. Uh, followers which help us. It's only our. Uh, what can say? People wants to more followers uh, on their uh, post and uh, many more things. But uh, according to me, it is not. Uh, internet uh, okay it's not uh, the internet. it's spoiling the youth it's not internet who is spoiling uh, pradeeman what's your take do you think do you think that the number of people uh, are, are spending a lot of time on internet or the social networking site which is a part of internet now yes yes sir uh, there are many people who are using internet daily because it is now part of their life but uh, there is not uh, anything like the they like they are spoiling by internet mm-hmm. because many of that uh, there was a one uh, what we say there was a one uh, so, so, sorry uh, sir uh, one uh, that uh, austin m that uh, man uh, take one uh, survey uh, mm-hmm. of 50 people out of 50 74 are uh, 74 people are using internet daily mm-hmm. uh, out of uh, out of that 18 people are using 
internet for their education purpose 15 are for 15 using for their entertainment 12 are using for other their works and two of their using business so out of these all 20, 31 people think that uh, the internet is a uh, good and uh, it is beneficial for them they have like learned lots of thing from that i i don't think so everybody is wasting their time through the internet because i am going to tell my story which is very interesting before getting married i didn't know anything about cooking so i learned everything from youtube or google so i can say that it is a very good thing and we got a good opportunity to learn from youtube or google yes sir uh, it's shama it's okay fine you can learn the things like cooking and all those things with the help of the internet and all those things but we are we are talking about the youth and second thing is that we cannot uh, just have a uh, what we call um, Uh, full time attention towards the you that what you are uh, doing on the internet whether you are searching the good things or you are searching for the bad things right so for the right. youth when we go with uh, the youth they are uh, adolescents they are in a teenage and teenage people what they do they will do their studies for uh, half an hour for 15 minutes and after that they just start uh, seeing the things which they found, found very interesting and they are liking where the, the things which they like they start serving those things Okay. okay so they will uh, learn the good things for only for 10 to 15 minutes and after that they will start seeing other things okay. uh, question to all of this uh, we give our mor- moral values and everything every parents do this mm-hmm. but if our if our children are in hostel mm-hmm. then how can we control and how can we look up that children for 24 hours because this is a, it, within one click we, you can see anything okay. so how you will control your kid yes who wants to, yes. who, wants to answer, who wants to answer this raise yeah. your hand I would like to give answer of uh, Kavita ma'am when she said that youth are living hostel, right ma'am? So if they are living in host host uh, hostel ma'am, so it means they are mature enough to understand. And if they are uh, going wrong way, so it's a respons responsibility of uh, hostel management ma'am. Actually, sir, I am uh, putting some point uh, about the internet uses. Out of fifty students uh, nowadays. Forty-seven student uh, use the internet, especially on the uh, bad things and uh, uh, play, playing some games as like PUBG, whatever. That's why uh, only three percent students using internet for good things. Okay, fine. Now see, uh, internet is in the hands of. Yes, Kavita, do you want to answer this? Something, say something here. Please, please. Ask. You have thirty seconds. Yeah, on. the yes. management is. Ma- Yeah, management is not responsible to watch every person and every student in in one room. Two two children are there. Five thousand to six thousand students are living at the same time. And who is going to be responsible? But uh, who is taking responsibility of every student? Yes, Shama. The point is that. And I'm agree with Subha. I'm I'm agree with Subha, sir. I'm agree with Subha that there is a free Wi-Fi in hostel. Okay, and. Only three percent are three percent people students are studying. Otherwise, are enjoying. Okay. That uh, why you want to control your child if he is managing his uh, life in uh, his uh, hostel? Why you want to control him? He can do anything on his own. Let okay. them set free. Like they can do anything with their own. But they fine. are no. They are mature enough to know the things what they have to do. Okay. They are mature enough to understand what they are, what they do. Uh, no, Aditya, Aditya. Like uh, as a as a growing child, do you think that internet is spoiling you? If I ask you straight, this question is it spoiling? So right, right now, yeah, is it spoiling? But uh, means if we go towards the how to say the bad bad effects, right? It is spoiling. But actually, it is very important for using uh, for using right now in this situation. Means mm-hmm. now we are on the Zoom. Then. If any studies uh, right now, if I can't ask any teacher that what should I do, so I can uh, I can I can Google it, but but sometimes what happens that if uh, the ads comes, you all, you all may be knowing that mm-hmm. on the mobile if we are playing any games, so that time ads comes, so that ad if we don't see them, it is okay, but sometimes the ad are very bad like that. It is eighteen plus ads, right. so it is not good for the youths. If right now my if my small brother is playing game, so I can't I can say him now that please don't play games and right now. But if any 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 uh, any bad image comes, so it will he will see now that what is there. He will have that fantasy to see what will be after that. Right, that. Good good point, Aditya. Yes, Pradyuman, yeah. please go ahead. Yes, I can see. Yes, Pradyuman, say say say. I'm 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 coming to you. Sir, I would like to answer Aditya. Ah. Uh. 
uh, sir i would like to answer ajit uh, the ads which comes in mobile uh, they are related to what you want what whatever you search on internet they are relatable to only that thing you cannot get some uh, different ads from like anything you do you don't know okay like so, they are so, using your data and on that basis they are giving you the ads okay so ads are not something that they design it yeah it's you design it is it is it something right for them they you design yes, your own ads right yes sir yes sir yes uh, sneshi is quiet yes. for some time sneshi please speak uh, i'll come to you oh, yes yes sir uh-huh. Yes, Prajiman. It is a fact. But the thing is, Prajiman, while typing, if they type something mistakenly or something happens, like they get uh, stuck to the good, like uh, attractive uh, pictures or something like that, then definitely they would like to know what is there inside it, right? By typing mistake or by dictionary, you while typing, you know that it dictionary gets opened, right? Something uh, sometimes it happens, no? They, then they try to know how yeah, what it is, and if the friend is sitting nearby, then they, let's see, let's see, let's see. And you all know about the adolescent period; it is like the hormonal changes goes on in the body. So definitely, even we are going to give them uh, moral values, what not, but we can't control our hormones, which are going to secrete in that age. Is that that every child does exactly the opposite what parents say? Is it right or wrong, Aditya? Do you think that yes. if the parents say go right, children go left? Is it does happen? Yeah. Yes, sir. They get they go, they definitely go left. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to answer one Surika Ma'am's that uh, point. But she says that parents should uh, miss have an eye on their on their child. Mm-hmm. But how much time they will have time? Uh, they will have an eye. They yeah. also have work. Yeah, they Or, can't. Uh, miss, they can't go na every time. What you are doing? Show me. Show me your mobile. All right. Yeah. And she is saying about that what they search and that parents should see. there google has also made that that clear uh, what we see we all know that clear history so if uh, now right now small small student know that uh, clear history uh, what what is clearing is the history so parents will see just see uh, that uh, my child is going good he is just attending the lectures and that it will be like that uh, as a youth uh, they are mature now they can they uh, they have a knowledge about what is better for them and what is good for them so yeah. it it depends on person right it okay. depends on person okay. and uh, there are so lots of advantages of internet we can search then if uh, now i am doing engineering so uh, i have a, uh, i have a lots uh, my, i wanted lots of books but i can't uh, buy but because of internet i can watch as a ebook okay okay that's it for now yes sneshi and then shama fast sneshi i'll come to everyone one by one yes yes yes, yes i would like to give the answer for the dr shureka ma'am that if we are going to keep the watch on our kids definitely we may lo- lo- loss or lose our uh, children also that why the mama and papa they are interfering in our mobile and second thing is that in a teenage definitely everyone's get attracted towards the opposite sex yeah. so definitely if we are, they are not using the internet but definitely they will go for the whatsapp and all those things while doing the lectures also they will start talking or chatting with their uh, opposite sex members you're right thank you so uh, my question Hello. my question here my question here is should the parents uh, guide them or should they warn them what 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 shama is your take on this one do you think that guide them guide them or, so, or so warn I them i think mm-hmm. yeah i think should the parents guide them they should teach them what is right what is wrong if they are not mature they should sit them and they should tell what is this and what is uh, good or what is bad is it right sir it's our parents responsibility sir only that the, they are attracted to the opposite uh, gender thing so it is a natural thing you cannot control that thing yeah if you ban internet there are also other reasons also mm-hmm. it is not a concern with a, internet or uh, anything mm-hmm. and everything has the two sides like positive and uh, negative it's up to us that uh, on which side we have to focus on question do you think there should be some regulatory passed by the internet in the internet via google that uh, uh, they should recognize the the child who is using the age group who is using the internet and restricting those sites which may spoil the youth or which may divert the youth from the real part yes pradeep yes you want to answer this yes sir this is a facility uh, uh, available on every browser you can uh, put the safe search thing and it will ban all those thing and uh, it will ban ads also Okay, that means the parents are not educated enough to do this, right, Pradeep? Yes. Uh, so yeah. that is a uh, uh, with the help of slide, we want to explain that that is the internet is nothing but one type of addiction. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Okay. It is addiction. 
All right. Okay. Uh, as that you can see, uh, as that, you can uh, see, the people sitting huh. in the line together, and they they nobody is even looking at each other. Yeah. Right. They they don't bother who is sitting just behind just beside behind them, and the you, you, you can see that that one uh, person and that hand that is uh, you know that sugar what that drug mm -hmm. is uh, by intravenous that is so it is like a that they want to show only that is it one type of addiction. Mm -hmm. That yes, sir. Uh... As uh, ma'am said that it is an addiction, internet addiction, but it is a temporary addiction. After some day, they will bore about it because the youth will, like now if you see the youth, they will uh, getting bored easily. I used to uh, use mobile a lot. Then I would get bored about it. Then I stopped work, uh, using my mobile also for, uh, I think, almost one month. Okay. I stopped using my mobile. It's a temporary thing. You cannot blame that thing. And uh, the internet, uh, like users of internet, it should be controlled in like... Mm -hmm. Little bit, and uh, I don't think that it is spoiling the youth. Okay, fine. Thank you. But, uh, uh, it is not like. Uh, yeah. Thank. You. I'm going to conclude my view on this topic, which is is internet spoiling youth. So I don't think so. I can miss everybody as you know. Uh, every coins has two sides, negative and positive, right? So I would like to give an example. Uh, when I was in Nasik at that time, I uh, uh, I didn't join any coaching, so I was. I didn't have any knowledge about CDP. So I started watching video and I joined one classes, which was online or like let's learn. So I got 28 marks out of 30. Okay. Cool. So I didn't, I don't think so. It is wasting our time. It is depend on person where they are using, where they are wasting yeah. their time. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, actually, uh, this is my opinion because I am the mother of uh, teenagers. And I'm also worried all these uh, situations. And I, uh, when I saw everywhere that is, we are used to, uh, because we born in 1890s and we you, you we uh, believe in hard work. Okay, uh, we used to sit in the library, we spend two to three hours, and we find out the uh, information. And that is a long, long uh, permanent. But now we can we can see that that young generation, if they want any information, they the one click, they get the information in one second but erase it in half a second mm -hmm. that is my and that's why i i'm totally agree with that this young generation is become lazy and uh, not creative and they become uh, towards that addiction All that right. is my thank personal you. thank you ma'am yes, sir, sir, sir. sir according according to me mm -hmm. uh, internet uh, definitely uses for uh, youth but nowadays what happens are due to some social media sites mm -hmm. so many sites are available as like facebook instagram whatsapp so um, youth also lost lost his valuable time in now sir uh, i sir I, I was having one point that uh, means if we if the parents keep uh, means keep uh, telling their uh, children that uh, don't play phone don't play phone, don't don't use phone so the what we say the anger in their mind will come very uh, very early and if afterwards if their parents will then they will just call their parents it will be like that and for the youths i am having one point that if they are getting uh, means very much at, uh, addicted towards the internet so they just do meditation and uh, do that vipassana and that so it will make their mind fresh yeah. to me internet gives us uh, various platforms uh, we can uh, do study by internet now nowadays so uh, every coin has two sides and uh, it is in our hand that uh, what all things we should take from internet and what all things we should not. In this pandemic situation, we don't have any option without internet. Mm -hmm. With the help of internet, we can do everything while sitting at home. No need to go out. So everyone is important in our life. We have to decide how to use uh, the final take is that uh, each and everything has uh, two sides, positive and negative. So it's depend upon the youth. It depends upon the human beings how to use it positively or negatively. And definitely, I would like to say that the internet is uh, spawning because nowadays uh, we don't. Uh, we totally depend upon the computer, the mobile. If someone asks us to find out the things, we said okay, okay, easily we can do it because we have the net connection. Okay. So we don't depend upon the friends, but we de definitely depend upon the computer. Mm -hmm. So each and everything has a uh, two points, positive and negative. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting and learning updates.